Let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 31. Fraction equivalents, ordering, and operations. Topic F, addition and subtraction of fractions by decomposition. Let's say this expression using unit form. What would it look like if we thought about it as unit form? We can see that we have two ones, one eighth, plus one one, five eighths. So when I think of it this way, I can tell that I can add my ones together. That would give me three ones. And I can add my eighth parts together. So that would be one eighth plus five eighths. That would give me six eighths. So I could say three ones plus six eighths. And it would look like this three and six eighths. Let's try this one. Two and five eighths plus three and five eighths. Well, one of the things I can do when I'm solving this one is I can first add my two and my three together. I can add my ones together. That would give me five. Now I can add my fraction pieces together. Five eighths plus five eighths would give me ten eighths. Now, I can think about my 10 eighths as a number bond. And I can say, okay, 8 eighths would make 1, and then I would have 2 eighths left over, because I'm pulling 8 of these 10 pieces out and making one whole, and 10 minus 8 is 2. So 10 eighths minus the 8 eighths would leave me with 2 eighths. So this becomes 1 and 2 eighths. So now I can just add my 5 ones and my 1 one together and I would get 6 ones and 2 eighths. And that would be 6 and 2 eighths. Let's try this one. 5 and 5 eighths plus 6 and 5 eighths. In this case, I'm going to think about my 6 and 5 eighths. And I'm going to take this 5 eighths and I'm going to break it like it's a number bond. Now, here's what I see. Over here, I have 5 eighths. If I had 3 more eighths, I could make one whole. So I'm going to take this 5 eighths on this side, and I'm going to break it into two parts, 3 eighths and 2 eighths. So now I can take this 5 eighths and this 3 eighths and put them together and make 8 eighths. So now I no longer have this or this. I've taken them and I've put them together to make one whole. So this 5, I can put together with this 8 eighths, which is really 1. And I can put it together with this 6. So 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So I have 12 and 2 eighths. All right, that'll take care of things for lesson 31, where we've been adding mixed numbers.